How's it going guys? Josh here from StartReplay.com and today I have the pleasure of bringing you my first headset review of 2018, courtesy of Razer and I'm reviewing the Razer Thresher 7.1 for PlayStation 4. But first, as always, before I go any further, let me show you what's in the box. So in the box you get the headset, a charging cable, the USB hub and last but not least, some manuals. I know a lot of you watching this will probably want me to get a mic test out of the way, so let's do that first. And this is a mic test for the Razer Thresher 7.1 headset for PlayStation 4. And this is it, the 7.1 surround sound Thresher headset from Razer for PlayStation 4. Bear in mind you can also get an Xbox tailored package as well, and you can also get one that works between PC and console, which has a little base station as well, but this is the base level, I guess, of the uh, the Thresher series. I'm still not entirely sold on the name. Now, where do I begin? I guess with the price. This Thresher 7.1 headset for PlayStation 4 currently retails for £150. That puts it below the price point of headsets such as the Astro 53rd Gens or the Steel Series Siberia 840s, both of which retail for over 200 quid, and that's a big ask. However, it does put them above recent headsets such as the Turtle Beach Stealth 700s or the Steel Series Arctis 7, both of which are also very good headsets, very good 7.1 surround sound headsets. So let's talk about the Thresher's design. Firstly, the ear cups are packing 50 millimeter drivers, which really punch out that 7.1 surround sound. This headset has one particular feature which I absolutely adore, and no, before you ask, it's not interchangeable batteries for easy charging, although I would love that. It's this cute little band which makes it so comfortable. I can wear it for hours. There aren't any adjusters on the side that you have to get right. It's not pressing down on your head. Seriously, you, you've probably seen this in a few headsets already, but as soon as you rest it on your head, it's so comfortable. It's just so nice. It's absolutely glorious. My head is just yelling, going, holy crap, that's comfortable. And frankly, I'm surprised that we haven't seen this design in more gaming headsets from manufacturers such as Astro or Turtle Beach. However, the recent Steel Series Arctis series, I think the, both the 5 and the 7, although I really like the look of the 7 and would love to try them out for you sometime to show you uh, what they're like, because I would actually love to know myself. So now I've put my passion away for the headband of this Thresher headset. Let me move on to more of the design of the headset. So the ear cups, you know, this plush leatherette design is, is really, really nice on your ears. They're nice big ear cups as well. They're not really enclosed and they actually haven't made my ears sweat as much as I thought they would. So that's actually a really good point. On the side of the ear cups, you have traditional Razer logo, which actually lights up when you turn the headset on. The Xbox version lights up green, this one lights up blue, of course, because it's to do with the PlayStation 4 branding. And there's a little bit of blue around the ear cups as well to signify that it's a PlayStation 4 model. The Xbox One also has green around the side. That's really the only major differences from what I could see. On the lower half of the left ear cup, you have a retractable microphone, which I really like and is super bendy, so you can position it however you want to. At the very bottom of the left ear cup, you have a small control wheel, which adjusts the volume of your voice to your friends when you're in party chat. And next to that, you have a small charging port, which I wish was USB-C, but I'll come onto that in a bit. And then you have the power button. Pressing the control wheel on the left ear cup will mute the microphone, and when the microphone is muted, it will light up red on the tip. And if we head over to the right ear cup, there's just one control wheel and that is for game audio. If you were to press that, it would mute all of the audio in your headset. That means any chat audio and also the game audio as well. When it comes to transmitting the 7.1 sound from the console to the headset itself, all it uses is this cute little USB dongle with a modified optical cable which plugs in the side. More and more manufacturers of gaming headsets are latching onto this instead of using big hubs that sit on your desk and take up a lot of space, all you can do is plug this into the console, plug this into the optical port and you're good to go. You will have seen it also in my reviews of the Lucid Sound LS40s or the Turtle Beach Stealth 700s. They both use this technology. So I'm gonna roll off my good points now and start with the design and this band at the top. It's just so comfortable, nothing beats it and I could wear it for hours, which I already do. I really love it, it's really good. I also love the lighting on the side of the ear cups. It just 
It makes it personalized and you look quite cool when you're wearing them, or at least that's what I think. I don't know what anyone else thinks. I love that this has a retractable microphone. Unlike a lot of gaming headsets, it doesn't have a mic that's stuck onto the side of the left ear cup, which often makes that headset look quite gopping. This, you can tuck it away, you can conceal it when you're not using it. It's cool, I like it. My last good point focuses on probably one of the most important aspects on uh, any pair of gaming headphones, and that's the audio quality. It just sounds great out of the box. And even though I have some niggles and some bad points surrounding the customization of the audio, again, out of the box, it sounds really good. And I know I'm terrible at expressing the audio quality and what I think it's like in the mids and, and blah, blah, blah. As an all rounder, I'm gonna do my best here. When you're in FPS games and you're trying to locate the direction of sound, this is really, really good. Um, there are, again, a few pointers that I'd like to add to it in my bad points, which I think could improve it. But as it stands, I love the 7.1 surround sound. It sounds amazing. And I've been playing a lot of Batman Arkham Knight recently and just, oh God, just flying across Gotham City, hearing the rain and all the, the stuff going on below you. I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. And now for the bad points, the sour notes, before I total everything up and come to a conclusion. Now, this headset leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to the customization of game audio. And that's because there is no customization of game audio. There's no footstep focus button. There's no uh, module you can download on your computer so you can plug these in and, and tinker with the audio. What you get is what you get. And it would be great to use these in Call of Duty or a competitive online game and to press footstep focus or just one, just one particular button so I can hear people's footsteps just that little bit more, how it just picks out those particular sounds. So I know if someone's gonna come up from behind me and knife me in the back. I know if someone is lurking in the room next to me and I can fire straight through the wall in Rainbow Six Siege or something like that. Um, yeah, no, I, I think I, I would love for that to be in a future iteration of the Thresher series if it were to continue. It would also have been nice to have some more direct control over the audio of my friends. So not just controlling how loud I am to them, but how loud they are to me, and if possible, muting them. If I'm watching a cutscene in game and I don't wanna hear anything else but the cutscene, pressing that button and muting my friends. Not that I don't like my friends, it would just be nice to have that option when I'm always on chat with them in party chat on PlayStation 4, or, or maybe they're being too loud, or maybe they're not being loud enough. I want to have more control over that, so get on it. Razor. Mm. In terms of charging the headset, and if you've watched any of my other headset reviews, you'll know how much I love easy charging or, you know, if possible, interchangeable batteries, which I've only seen in the Steel Series Siberia 800s and 840s. I know I can't have that, okay? All of you headset manufacturers have been very clear to me because I've only seen interchangeable batteries in the Steel Series Siberia 800s and 840s and nowhere else. So you're obviously going to just stick to cable charging, but if you're going to stick to cable charging, please, can you move over to USB-C? It just makes it a little bit easier. It means I don't have to fiddle around with the port to make sure I don't break it or push it through. One small thing that I'd like to see tried in future headsets, that's not necessarily a, a huge bad point or a huge negative, it's just something, again, I'd like to see tried, is to have the control for in-game audio or chat audio assigned to the entirety of the ear cup, much like the Lucid Sound LS40s, which has a big ring around the ear cup for you to adjust sound. These little wheels, when you've got it on your head and you're trying to remember where the wheel is and you're rolling your fingers around and you accidentally hit that wheel and turn down the game audio or turn down the chat audio and it can just be very, very annoying sometimes. My final negative is that when you're not using them, you've put them down or you're resting them around your shoulders because you're doing something and you forget to turn them off, they don't turn themselves off. Much like the Astro 53rd gens, which know when you've got them on your head and turn themselves back on and conserve battery life, the Threshers don't do that. I would like to see that become a commonplace feature in more gaming headsets because it would be handy for people like me who forget to turn headsets off and then I have to charge it through the fiddly charging wires and I can't keep my headset on. It's just so annoying. Crap, I had a 16 hour charge, which this holds, and now I've only got eight because I forgot to turn them off.
And now for the all important conclusion, the rating of this Thresher headset. I'm sure you're all dying to find out how many stars out of five I'm gonna give it. And I'm gonna give it four out of five stars. There's room for improvement, although for the price point, the comfiness, the sound quality, it's from Razer, it's really, really good, which is why I give it four out of five, so there. As always, I hope you liked this headset review. If you did, don't forget to give it a like below this video. Also, if you have any comments or questions for me, hit the comments box below. I'll do my best to respond to you as soon as I can. If you haven't subscribed already, then hit this button here. Here's a video I thought you might like to watch next, and I'll catch you next time.